Hey everybody, so uh, this is not a, you know, this is not painting, this is not uh, tabletop gaming, um, but it's very adjacent. Um, <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know, like every once in a while I do video game videos. This, should, this was just like, I thought this was too good not to share, um, but it's like definitely like up our alley <laughs> if you like the kind of content on my channel. Um, so this game is like one of those, it's sort of like a d and style combat or um, uh, XCOM, you know, if you play XCOM, uh, but it is a like splatter punk um, sort of inspired by games like Smash TV but you know like turn-based where you can do overwatch and then you have your classes where it's like one guy's like a heavy gunner and then you have the you know the speedy speedy one with the with the smg in the back that's like flanking people um but super super fun game so this is not actually out yet it's this is just the demo and then um the uh the i'll, I'll put a link in the uh, in the down here for um, if you want to pick up the demo and then put it on your wish list on Steam. So, anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so, I just love I love this genre, you know, um, like uh, splatter punk. <laughs> um, Time for the final battle of the night. Will the challenger survive? What's in store for them? One thing's for sure, it's gonna be bloody! So yeah, like very inspired by like Smash TV, um, but also um, kind of reminds me of like uh, just how the game looks. Like it reminds me of like um, The Ascent or um, even like Necromunda, you know? Uh, kind of has a, a similar feel where it's like gangs that are fighting uh, for cash and prizes <laughs> um, But anyway, so You know you have your standard kind of stuff like um, uh, In D&D I guess it would be where you just hold your action and then you wait for somebody to pop out of cover uh, So that you can shoot them or uh, in XCOM, it's, you know, it's the overwatch where you're just you're you're literally just waiting for somebody to come to pop out of cover come into your line of fire so that you can nail them um but uh so there is like flanking mechanics in this so um you do you're not locked into a turn order like uh with you know initiative or whatever um that wouldn't bother me if that were the case um like a, i don't know like a final fantasy tactics or something like that um it's basically your team versus their team so like if i go over here you can see that uh if i just try and shoot this guy right here i have a 75 percent chance of hitting him whereas this person i have no line of shot no line of sight on them with this character um and uh and then you know 22 percent chance over here no chance of hitting this guy should have line of sight on this guy, I think, because it seems like he could just lean over and then pop out, uh, take a shot on them. But, uh, so I will go ahead, um, just because he, oh, I could flank. I could flank, so if I flank right here, uh, and, you know, I leave him, like, a little bit exposed, but, like, you can see down here, we've got half cover, and then we've got, like, full cover, in some places um, or three quarters cover so I will go ahead and um, you know what, actually I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna leave him exposed to the flank I'm just gonna take the shot on him yeah 75% chance to hit um, if you play XCOM you're, you're very familiar with the uh, you know 95% chance to hit on uh, on a shot and then missing but uh so this is my this is more of like my heavy gunner character um zoe uh so she has like a she's where is that it looks like a um 
well, you know, like a heavy machine gun, um, like an M M60 or whatever, you know, like a, what do they call it, a, a saw. Um, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to put her into Overwatch because if somebody does pop out of Overwatch, when she hits, it is going to be brutal. Uh, it would be tough to get past that. So, you know, like in, in XCOM, it's a solid strategy to kind of like turtle. Um, this is one of those games where you, you have movement and then you have your, like your movement and then you do your action, right? So if I, if I do, uh, well, okay, snapshot, like that's going to be the, um, the exception to the rule where she can try and take a shot and hits. But then she still has her, um, she still has her, like, overwatch and then her shoot. Um, so, you know, like, I think I'm just going to leave everybody on overwatch and then see if we can get, like, a brutal hit on somebody. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put T-Bolt out in the open right there, totally flanked. Yeah, there's, like, healing grenades and then regular grenades. But okay, here we go. So here's an Overwatch. This should be a really brutal hit. Oh, he should have gotten. I feel like he should have gotten hit by her as well. She could still get her Overwatch. There we go. Oh, if that would have hit, that would have been a, a brutal hit. But so somebody does have a grenade. I think that she, yeah, she has a grenade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop off a grenade over here. And it looks like that's going to do some good damage if it... Oh, it's actually like a proximity uh, thing. So this is like a... It's a... Um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna to blow up like next turn. So I can, you know, just leave her in Overwatch. So like that was her action, like her, her first action. And then if and then I can leave her in Overwatch again, and then you know she should have like a brutal hit uh, if somebody pops out. So let's see, Scarlet. Um, I kind of want to just leave everybody in Overwatch because we have a good defensive position, and it's like you know they're in. There's a bunch of these guys that are in cover right now, right? Um, but. To come in to, to get a good shot on any of my, well, she's a little exposed, but pretty much everybody else, to get a good shot on them, they have to pop out. So, I'll do a snapshot. Oh, she's out. She does not have her snapshot. Let's see, what does Assault do? Uh, hmm. Interesting. Maybe I'll just have her reload and then and then Overwatch. I do. I want to get like a good hit, like a really good, satisfying Overwatch hit. Okay, so so T Ball also has this thing where he can throw out like a holographic decoy. Um, there are other classes that you know that we're gonna see, um, like uh, these guys, these these scum guys. They have. Uh, what do they have? What are you guys packing? Looks like they just have like handguns. And then got a guy with like some kind of SMG over here. This is an interesting, this one has a, um, it's like just a smoke screen that stays up until they actually get hit. And then it drops their smoke screen. And then this one is like a healer. And, uh, and then there's also like stuff that stuff that you can pick up like um, I, I've played one round of this and I've never seen the um, the AI use these little healing stations but that doesn't mean that they can't do it I just haven't seen them do it um, but it's like the it's I, actually I like how it's like when you do use the healing stations they're like and healing is provided by Omega Corp, you know, um, proud sponsors of today's, uh, today's fights. Um, 
But yeah, okay. So I, I, I do want to leave everybody in Overwatch, but I'm going to have T-Bolt, so I'm going to try and bait them out and get everybody else to, to come out. So if I was smart, I would have used that earlier on. Um, but so he has, he's, he's used, uh, be nice if they had just like little action counters, you know, over here. Um, there's another game that, uh, that I loved that was this kind of style of game. And it was, um, it was about the Cold War. And, and you could play as like these Amer the Americans, the Russians, the Israelis. Um, but it was like you could get up, you could uh, give, your, give your guys like combat drugs and stuff, and get them up to like four action points. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I, I did this kind of style of game. This is definitely like my jam. Alright, so see if we can bait somebody out to do something. So didn't taking a shot on him didn't throw him off his Overwatch. Hoping they walk right into her sights. Okay, here we go. Oh man, we can't hit anything. There. Finally. Okay. Got one guy down. But I think it you know it is like a solid strategy to um just like leave your guys in overwatch and wait for uh, wait for people to pop out of cover you know because it's like they're exposed uh so she does have a good shot on this guy oh that's not as good as i thought it's only 64 percent i don't like that um what if i move so and then i like that it shows like if you move up right she's she's in like full cover right here you can see like the shield right here like this is full cover and then this is half um so i like that so from here if she's taking a shot at 64 percent right a little bit obscure if she gets up to here it's 75 percent um but you know uh i still i still like the idea of just leaving people in uh in overwatch um so this uh, this this holographic de decoy is just designed to like draw fire, and um, it really it's kind of weird because it does seem like the AI really does prefer to go for this holograph, where it's like they they say in the game, you know like oh what, you know will they fall for it will they fall for the bait, um, and like they always do, <laughs> but. Um, I do, I do kind of just want to like use people's abilities and leave them on Overwatch because uh, getting a solid hit on somebody, you know, in Overwatch, it's always, it's always a good strategy um, with this stuff. So I'm going to pull people back and then I'm going to try and bait them into, uh, um, and like also you can see these the these these numbers up here. Oh, I think those are those are hit points. Yeah, but you can see that like my heavy, she has um she has a lot more. She's a big old bag of hit points compared to T Bolt, and then he's like a uh, he's he has more like utility, like he, he has well, you know, his decoy thing. So he's kind of more like I don't know, like a rogue or something like that. Um, I could, well, I could reload and then, and then overwatch him. I just, I don't want to get him flanked. So. More bullets at the ready. All right, I'm just going to overwatch him too. Waiting for a better shot. And then. Let's see, what does Intimidate do? Scare the target into running away. Could be useful if it's uh Okay, yeah. What is that? Zoe prepares a deadly shot. Alright, so if she gets a hit this time, it is going to be a devastating hit. while he reloads. I'm hoping that this guy will pop out. Just try to do something. Or somebody will pop out. 
Okay, that was a good hit. But you know, like, there's multiple rounds, like, um... <laughs> Oh, I wish you would have gotten that off. I wish you would have gotten that shot off. Okay, let's see. If you... Can you still use that? We'll just try. Yeah, pretty satisfying. <laughs> but that instantly ends her turn. Because she took her shot first. You know? Um, so, and then... Okay, yeah, so everybody needs to read. And then yeah, I'm gonna overwatch him. She takes up a guard position. But um, I love this like this style of game. I get inspired when I see stuff like this too because it's like uh, I think that doing something like this would be a great like Stars Without Number campaign, you know, or something like that, where it's like you have like a group of gangers that are trying to escape like an arcology or something that's like doomed. And like the best way, or like maybe they're facing some kind of prison sentence or something, and then they can like earn their freedom like in the Running Man or something. I just think that that would be like a really good uh, campaign for uh, something like Stars Without Number. So I do okay. Like I wanna, I wanna get her smoke off of her. So she's exposed right now. Or him. Ooh, they both like exchanged a little bit of shots right there. The challengers can use those mobile healing stations, courtesy of Omega Corporation, to patch themselves up during combat. Too bad people can't actually hit anything on a 75%. Uh, so Tibo is looking T ball. T ball. Tool is looking a little bit hurt. Uh, so if I put him over here, I think that it's actually... It might be a free action to get healing. Can't remember. Yeah, cool, okay. So he, so he still has his movement left. So I can, you know, I can put him over here and we'll cover. And then, you know, like, set, set myself up to, to do uh, more, like, ambush kind of stuff later. Um, I kind of wish that I could, like, turn the, like, rotate the camera a little bit. There is a way to do that. I haven't figured out how. Uh, but... Let's see. So he's kind of like the most exposed right now. Uh, I'm just trying to like set up a good, uh, some kind of a good ambush. I like that Zoe has um, infinite ammo. <laughs> so it's like she just has this big ass ammo drum, you know, and uh, and then you know like. It's, it's never gonna run out of bullets. Um, cone attack. Ooh, I like that. If I could, yeah, I gotta, I, I, I gotta stop just doing Overwatch with these guys. But I do, I, I, I do like getting that solid hit when somebody pops out of cover. Hoping for a clear shot. So okay, let's set up some kind of an ambush over here. And if I can draw people out, you know, then uh, that's great. Oh, yeah, they're using the opportunity to just heal up over there. Alright, so, let's see. If I can get her in and do this cone attack thing. Here. Oh, she has no shot. She's in full cover, but she has no shot. And then I think she has, she's the only one who has like a grenade or anything like that, too. Oh no, Tebow has a grenade. 
Uh, can you just throw that grenade in here? So, like, this is going to be one one action's worth of movement to get him over to here. That's pretty exposed, but all right, I'll try. I'll try putting him right here, and then if he can get them both with a, with a good grenade, then you know, then great. That's fine. I'll just... And a well-thrown grenade. So it's also going to show that, um, you know, people, like if I move Scarlet up here, she, she has no shot. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'll just overwatch her. Setting up a kill zone. And there's a hit. Well then why didn't she have a shot on him? That's kind of bullshit. Okay. All right, Zoe, you gotta do something here. All right, so cone attack. I kind of just want to see what this does. <laughs> oh, and that will do it for her. Yeah, that's dope. That's pretty good. All right, Scarlet, if I put you, can you? Do you have a shot? No. Oh, it's because his um his his camo thing. His uh, like smoke camo thing is up, but uh, but if he if he tries to take a shot on me, maybe I can do something. Um, I'm gonna set up an ambush with uh, T Bolt over here. Kind of want him to like come around so that I can do. I don't know how this works with this door, if he can just open it, or if he needs to spin an action or something to open that, uh... Alright, I'll just overwatch it. Waiting for an opportunity. Alright, come on, do something. Smokescreen disabled. He isn't able to... Making it look Ooh, everybody easy. likes to go for t because he's such a soft target. So here's another. And the defenders are joined uh, by a Ronin. Super deadly in close quarters with that razor sharp sword. Um, another, you know, class. Uh, this I, I love the uh, aesthetic. It's like it has like she has like the little pink bag with like the samurai sword and the uh, pretty cool. All right, so T Bolt's looking a little bit hurt. This so these these are the. Um, uh, the new, like, defenders. This is, like, round two, you know? Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, that is, uh, Homicidal All-Stars. <laughs> I, I just, I love the uh, aesthetic and, like, the game just looks awesome to me. So I'm, like, super excited for this to actually come out so I can play it. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, um, I think that's going to be it, you guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.